Good day, YouTube. It is the 15th of May, 2023, and me and Autumn are working on my mower. Yeah, this is what I mow with. I am a huge fan of snapper mowers. I have had many snapper brewer engine riders. This is the second one um, that I've owned that I mow with every week, and I got this. There's actually video or two on my YouTube channel um, when I acquired this for absolutely for free um, back in 2020. So I've got three years of use of this mower um, and really I, I, I either had to clean the carb or replace the carb, I can't remember now because it's been so long ago. Service the engine, um, put a battery in it at that time. I actually just put another battery in it. Um, and that was kind of it uh, eventually like last year or something I put new front tires and wheels on it because I had them from my last one that I never used um, I've done nothing with it I mow and mow and mow oh I put a blade on it but I never put a belt on it in fact I never even looked at the belt I've been mowing with it three years on the belt that it came with and for all I know it's original to the machine well <clears throat> the last time I went to get on this machine went to engage the blade and it didn't engage and I opened up the belt cover to see wow this thing's kind of trashed um, the weird thing is it worked fine the week before and then it just wouldn't engage so it it worked right up I mean I got every rotation of the blade I could get out of this belt and uh, it gave good service whatever so I'm throwing a belt on this thing and I maybe have run across something that made life a little easier. Um, and at that point I thought, oh, I should probably share it. So I'm going to share it. So sorry I didn't start off to video the thing. I just was putting a belt on my own machine. Let me walk you through where I have been and I'll show you what I came up with to make life easier when doing this I know it's gonna work on you know a machine just like this and it might work on snapper rear engine riders that are close to this I no guarantees because I've only done this to two let me show you okay start off with we pull that plastic cover off um, no big deal there's just four bolts off it comes and uh, I pulled off this pulley. It has a, a bolt, a spacer, and a nut on the bottom. And it went right over here. Okay, there's the hole. And there's where the notch is for that little alignment peg there. So no big deal. And then we got the old belt off. But it wasn't real, real easy. Okay, this is going to be hard to show you. But let me get in there and I'll show you. So let me describe what we have. Obviously there's a pulley on the crankshaft of the engine and that's where the belt goes around and I have this belt in place. On the bottom of the pulley is the drive disc. That's what sets down on the rubber, uh, what do you call it, the driven disc. Uh, makes this thing go forwards and makes it go backwards. Around that you can see the black metal belt retainer that hangs onto that belt when it's in slack mode, okay? So getting it off the pulley and around the drive disc wasn't too bad. Getting the belt from between the drive disc, the bottom of the drive disc, and that metal belt retainer, it's really, really close. So, um, see if I can point while we're in here and have some light. So right there, is the side of the belt retainer and it goes on up and goes that direction it flattens out it has a hole and there's a bolt and a nut that go up through the mowers motor plate same thing happens on this side it goes over here to this side there's a it flattens out there's a hole in it for a bolt and a nut that goes up through the motor plate and i thought if i could raise that drive the drive disc up a little bit farther that belt would clear um, I'd have just enough room for that belt to clear where I could get it in and get it out or get it out and get it back in and so I so I'm gonna have to remove this belt retainer completely 
And then I thought, well, let's just try and just loosen it up and not have to take it all the way out because it's kind of a pain to get to. Um, so I just loosened the bolt on that side and on this side and didn't take the nut clear off the bolt. Okay, so this is that nut. Okay, and then across over there is the other nut. So take them off as far as you can, leave a couple of threads so they don't fall off. And then what I did is I jammed a screwdriver underneath the engine plate and pried up. And that gave me twice the room that I had before. Okay. Um, right now the other side's doing all the heavy lifting, but you can see that gap right there. Which pushed that motor up, which pushed the pulley up, which pushed that drive disc up, and gave me enough room to get the belt in and out. So, all I have to do now is take these screwdrivers out, tighten those nuts. Okay? We'll do that in a minute. But for now, all we got to do is put this pulley back in and get this thing set up. And you might as well watch me. I've gone this far. It's been a couple weeks, I think, since I took this thing apart. The belt's been here for a while, but we've been working on a golf cart. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So, this is a V in here. So, it's going on the V side of the belt, right? And must tuck in that way, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. We'll start this nut. This is a locking type of nut. Are you in my way? going on correctly I'm gonna operate the tensioner make sure it goes the right direction yeah it does okay always good to understand what the heck is going on there all right I think this is all half inch the wrench go in the right direction now all right I'm gonna tighten that you're in my way okay we got the pulley tight I removed the screwdriver from the other side and tightened up the nut we're gonna do the same with this one Maybe my dog won't bark at whatever she just heard. Nah, of course she will. This also has the uh, ground cable attached that I just let spin. I didn't mean to. Come back. So if I didn't say, I did pull the left rear wheel off, make access a little easier. If you're standing it up on its end, you don't need to do that. All right. We're gonna put the wheel back on it.
God. Should we try it? Alright, let's see if it works. cover back on and uh we'll go mow something it's a nice hot day but we're gonna go mow something anyway i love this machine i love the snappers the simplicity of it the easy to work on decent to get parts for the sr 1433 big thumbs up love that machine i'm you know Kohler engines are my favorite i miss the Kohler command 14 horse the pressurized oil system oil filter all that jazz and i'll tell you i use this machine every week i take it to our property on the oregon coast and i mow over there i changed the oil in this thing when i got it for free july of 2000 it is now may of 2023 and this is oil i will not change because it hasn't even turned colors it's as clean as can be look at that um it gets used like every other mower but i don't know what it is about it but I'm not even going to waste money changing oil on it when it's that clean. And every six months or something, I look at it and go, I should change the oil. But, you know, there's my sticker. 7 of 2020. I put Mobile One Full Synthetic in it because that's what I had. I probably didn't, wouldn't go out and just buy that. But I have different oils where I get different places on sale or whatever. Um, yeah, it's completely full. And it's perfectly clean. And I don't understand it. But I... Love it. I love this machine. All right, guys, give me a thumbs up on the way out if you wouldn't mind. Comment, please. Comment, please. Every morning now at breakfast, I sit down and answer comments. So if you comment on this video, any video, tell me what you're working on. I have a question, related or unrelated, I don't care. Put it in the comments, and I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.